Hi, good day. My name is Sarah Rogwal, and today I'll be presenting on a feasibility study for implementation of a smart parking system in Port of Spain, Trinidad and Tobago. Parking challenges and problems are prominent worldwide and in Trinidad and Tobago. The capital city of Trinidad, Port of Spain, is a major area where these challenges are experienced as there are approximately 30% of the population who venture into the city on a daily basis during the week. Worldwide trends involve the utilization of Internet of Things platforms to help alleviate parking challenges by implementation of a smart parking system. This study reviewed a feasibility study for implementation of a smart parking system in Port of Spain. This was done by using a discrete event simulation modeling approach to simulate real-life scenarios of standard parking and a proposed smart parking system model for a facility chosen in Port of Spain to help alleviate parking challenges. These simulations were done at zero cost and results were verified and validated. Models were then validated using the chi-square statistic to determine if there were any statistical difference between models and actual statistics. This study, benef the benefits of this study are reduced driver frustration, reduced fuel usage, reduced traffic congestion, and reduced degradation to the environment. The objectives of this study are to identify the factors and examine the current parking system which causes traffic congestion and parking problems. Use the knowledge of smart parking strategies or systems using IoT devices to locate a park. Model and simulate a smart parking system with the use of Arena software. Analyze and validate the results. And Establish an optimized approach of a parking solution after software simulation to help eliminate traffic congestion with the use of a smart parking system using IoT functions. This study incorporated eight simulation steps, followed by Kelton, for a successful simulation study. The first step of the problem formulation was broken down into a research phase and research analysis. The research phase included market research that highlighted the number of vehicles registered in Trinidad and Tobago and its projected growth and product research of the existing parking strategies used. The research phase analysis included generation and evaluation of customer needs and data collection. A questionnaire was distributed to commuters in Port of Spain and shared via social media which gained the views of the public on smart parking and learned their use of parking facilities. The second and third simulation steps, solution methodology, system and simulation specification were compiled into the concept development. This was done by generating a quality function deployment for smart parking technologies. The QFD chart is a combination of the customer needs, customer requirements, which is obtained from the questionnaire distributed, and the product and market research conducted. From the QFD, the top rated characteristics of smart parking were obtained. These characteristics were then used to develop the concept for the smart parking system and model using the ARENA simulation program. The fourth simulation step of model formulation and construction was done by a concept generation and selection. The fifth, sixth, seventh and eighth simulation steps of verification and validation of the model, experimentation and analysis on the model, presentation and preserving the simulation results, and dissemination of the models were all included in testing and evaluation. The proposed smart parking system was generated based on the top rated characteristics 
of the smart parking system from the QFB chart. These characteristics allowed for the integration with a smartphone application into the system, IoT connectivity between devices, cloud computing, RFID connectivity, and the availability to inquire before entering the parking facility with or without vehicle occupancy as seen in Figure 1. Basically, the RFID sensors are located in the parking spots. This talks to the RFID antenna, which then talks to local server. The local server is connected via Ethernet to the internet router, which goes to the internet cloud via cloud computing and is then distributed to your smartphone application when searching for a parking spot. The data was collected Monday, Tuesday, Monday to Tuesday between the hours of 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. The arrival and departure rates, duration of stay, wait time, and parking success rates were all collected. The variable of interest is the time to find the park, hence the wait time data collected was used to validate if this distribution is acceptable for modeling of data. This was done using a goodness of fit test in Aruna software input analyzer, which is a built-in function used in probability distribution. Kelton states input analyzer is developed specifically to select a right fit distribution for any data provided. The output data obtained from the input analyzer shows that a gamut distribution is a best fit for waiting times. This is displayed in the histogram seen in figure 2. Rockwell also states gamma distribution is commonly used for representation of time required for completion of tasks. We now move on to presentation and analysis of data. First, we start with the standard simulation arena model. Arena simulation of the standard model build comprised of a create, forward beside, sorry, a create, a decide, four processes, and a dispose module. These modules made up the logic for a vehicle searching for a parking spot, parking for a duration of time, and the exit of the parking facility. The flow and processes involved in this logic is seen in Figure 3. Simulations were run for 10 replications to obtain an average wait time. We now move on to the proposed smart parking simulation arena model. The arena simulation of the proposed smart parking model utilizes the same model layout as the standard model. The smart parking model, however, only allows vehicles to enter the parking facility once there is an available parking spot reserved by the said driver. The model logic was designed differently in that the selection of a parking lane was done by an expression. The model logic is seen in Figure 4. Simulations were also run for the same 10 replications as in the standard model, obtaining an average wait time of 0 minutes. The proposed smart parking model was only developed after the standard model was validated. This was done by performing a student's t-test. If the t-value is less than the critical value, the null hypothesis is not rejected. However, if it is greater than the critical value, the null hypothesis is rejected. In this study, the null hypothesis was equal to there is no statistically significant difference between both sets of values. A decision was then made if to reject or do not reject the null hypothesis. This was done based on a probability value of 0.05 and a 95% confidence interval. The calculated t-value was 0.642, which is lower than the critical t-value of 2.447, using a 6 degree of freedom. Hence, in this study, the null hypothesis was not rejected, and it was proven 
there were no statistical difference between the real loop and the standard discrete event simulation model. Here we have a table highlighting the different wait times. We have the existing parking facility at 7.84 minutes, the standard model at 9.94, and the smart parking model at 0 minutes. From these results, we can draw a conclusion that from the discrete event simulation performed, the time to find a park or wait time, which is the key variable of interest in this study, was reduced to zero minutes for the proposed smart parking system when compared to the model built to represent the standard model. The proposed smart parking system will result in reduction in the labor cost at parking facilities, guaranteed parking spots for vehicle owners booked before, traffic reduction within the environs of parking facility, and reduction in degradation to the environment. These are some references used in the paper and the presentation. I thank you for listening to my presentation. Goodbye.